name is Dr. Paul Choi. I am the director of Los Angeles Endoscopy Center. I am also a fellow member of American Gastroenterological Association. In this presentation, I'll be discussing chronic hepatitis C. Hepatitis C is one of the most common causes of chronic viral infection. It is estimated that about 1 to 2 percent of U.S. population suffer from this illness. It is one of the most important causes of chronic liver disease leading to cirrhosis and liver cancer. In fact, hepatitis C is one of major indications for performing liver transplant surgery in this country. Hepatitis C virus is transmitted through blood products. As a result, hepatitis C is contracted from contaminated blood, needles, or IV drugs. However, it is not transmitted by casual physical contact or from food source. In addition, unlike hepatitis B, hepatitis C is rarely transmitted from sexual contact. Unfortunately, there is no effective form of vaccination for hepatitis C. Hepatitis C is defined as chronic when the infection lasts longer than six months in duration. Many patients with chronic hepatitis C infection may not be aware of their illness because there may be very few symptoms associated with the disease. However, as the disease advances, many begin to complain of persistent and chronic fatigue. Some may complain of anorexia, nausea, and weight loss. As the disease advances further, there may be symptoms such as yellowing of the skin or jaundice, vomiting of blood, fluid in the abdomen, and altered levels of consciousness and confusion. In fact, the most worrisome complication of chronic hepatitis C is the development of cirrhosis or hardening of the liver and liver cancer known as hepatocellular carcinoma. The diagnosis of hepatitis C is made based on blood tests. The initial tests include hepatitis C antibody and liver function tests. If the antibody is detected, hepatitis C RNA testing will establish the diagnosis. For confirmed cases of hepatitis C, additional tests that are obtained include genotype, alpha fetoprotein, a marker for liver cancer, and sonogram of the liver. Additionally, a biopsy of the liver is obtained to further characterize the overall condition of the liver disease. The treatment option for hepatitis C is rapidly evolving. Currently available treatments include ribavirin, pegylated interferon, and protease inhibitor such as teleprovir and bosepravir. For patients with genotype 1 hepatitis C, a triple combination of ribavirin, interferon, and protease inhibitor is recommended for 6 to 12 months. They can expect cure rate of approximately 70%. On the other hand, patients with genotype 2 and 3 are treated for 6 months with a dual regimen of interferon and ribavirin. They have a higher cure rate of 80 to 90%. Chronic hepatitis C is a very serious condition. For individuals with this illness, it is very important that they undergo a regular checkup, including periodic liver function testing, alpha fetoprotein determination, and sonogram of the liver. It is also advisable to avoid alcohol and any unnecessary medications. For patients with active viral replication, the treatment with antiviral drugs is recommended to prevent potential complications including 
cirrhosis and hepatocellular carcinoma. Thank you for listening. Thank you.